Hello everyone, I will present our work UVNet. In this work, we tackle the problem of texture representation for 3D shapes. Texture mapping is perhaps the most common way to represent the color surfaces of 3D shapes. Several different ways can be used to parameterize the surface, so that for a single shape, there are infinitely many possible texture images. Such ambiguity and lack of consistency between different shapes pose a challenge for 3D deep learning. So how do we generate textures with neural networks? There are two major approaches. In template-based methods, the output shape is deformed from a template mesh, usually a sphere. Therefore, the UV mapping of the output shape can directly use the UV mapping of the sphere. In texture fields, the color is represented by a continuous volumetric texture field parameterized by an MLP. However, template-based methods have a fixed output topology, and the surface could be heavily distorted. Texture fields tend to produce over-smooth textures. In our approach, we predict both the UV mapping and the texture image for each shape to avoid the above issues. More importantly, we aim to learn aligned UV maps for a set of 3D shapes without any ground truth supervision. Here are some example texture images obtained with our method. These images are well aligned, meaning that corresponding parts of different 3D shapes are mapped to the same locations in the texture image. The aligned UV maps can enable a variety of applications. For example, to transfer the texture from shape A to shape B, we only need to replace shape B's texture image with shape A's texture image. So how do we achieve the alignment in an unsupervised way? We came up with a simple yet effective alignment module inspired by eigenfaces. Recall that there are three steps for computing the eigenfaces. First, we need to align the face images. Then we subtract the mean and do PCA. Afterwards, face images can be reconstructed by linear combinations of eigenfaces. Note that the images must be aligned first, otherwise the reconstruction quality will drop. So, could we exploit that point? If we design a neural network to explain any input image with a linear combination of basis images, the network should learn to align the input images into a canonical pose to minimize the reconstruction error. Let me start with a 2D example. We want to align face images in arbitrary poses into a canonical pose. We first encode the input image into a shape latent code and some coefficients. Then we pass the coordinates of image pixels to the basis generator MLP to obtain basis images. These basis images are shared by all images in the dataset. Now we can multiply the basis images with the coefficients to obtain the output colors. However, we need to deform the output images to match the poses of the input images, so that we can use the input images to supervise the training. Therefore, we add UV mapper MLP to deform the query point coordinates into UV coordinates. We use the UV coordinates to query the basis generator to obtain deformed basis and the real output. Then we can use the reconstruction laws to train these networks. To obtain high quality images, we simply use the UV mapper network to deform the input images. Our network for 3D shapes is basically a 3D to 2D version of the 2D to 2D alignment module. First, the encoder predicts the shape code and the coefficients from the voxelized input point cloud. The UV mapper takes the shape code and the query points from the input point cloud and outputs the UV coordinates. The masker also takes the shape code and the query points and outputs a segmentation mask. Then, the UV coordinates are passed into the basis generators to obtain the basis colors for each query point. And the basis colors are multiplied by the predicted coefficients to generate the actual colors. Finally, the colors from the two basis generators are selected by the predicted segmentation mask to produce the final colors. Note that in addition to RGB colors, we also predict the point normals and point 3D coordinates. We can also query the generators with pixel coordinates to generate texture maps, normal maps, and coordinate maps. To train the entire system, we use reconstruction losses on the predicted properties and some regularization losses. After training the network and obtaining aligned texture images, we can use them for applications such as texture transfer. As explained before, all we need to do is to swap the shape's texture images. We can also transfer textures from realistic 3D people meshes to cartoon characters. Having aligned texture images, we can utilize existing 2D generative models to synthesize new textures and easily map them back onto the 3D shapes. Here are some texture synthesis results. For each generated texture image, we can couple it with different shapes. With the aligned texture representation, we can condition texture synthesis on an input image for textured 3D shape reconstruction. 